Hi Sagittarius, this is your April monthly a love overview reading, the general reading. I will publish four love readings. I don't really call them weekly, I just call them one through four, segment one, two, three, or four. Those will be published by, one will be published by this week. So for the weekend. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a reading for the collective. It cannot and will not resonate with everyone. Readings are good for 6 to 12 months, so please feel free to go to the playlist if this does not resonate. We are looking for messages from our beautiful Sagittarius friends for our beautiful messages. What does Spirit want to tell Sagittarius? Planet of Jupiter rulership. Jolly, good, fun people. Open-minded. Travelers. Rulers of the ninth house of higher education. We even can have some frat boys there, but we have lots of fun. Planet of Expansion, Higher Thought, International Travel, and here we go. Your first card out of the deck for your reading this month, Sag, is you're moving to calmer waters. Six of Swords energy is Aquarius energy. You are freeing yourself of something. You are finding your path. You are finding a new way to be happy. All right, the Ace of Coins, an offer of love. Well, that's interesting. You move quickly. She looks like she's moving slowly, but I think she's moving more quickly than we thought. All right, Sag. At the base of the reading, what brings you to the reading is heartbreak, difficulties in love. All right. What was a recent past for a Sagittarius to bring them into this state of uh, this, uh, a transformation and ending something that you left behind. You might have been in a third party situation or you might have been involved in a relationship which was like a no win situation. Um, right now you feel as though it was like a stinky pile of poo. You feel as though nothing good can come of it so you cut ties and you have taken the water taxi out of a very stinky situation. Yes, someone was very untrue to you. They lied to you. They were sneaky. They were deceptive. And they did so with obviously no real conscience. That person's sleeping like a baby over there. All right, Sag, what is happening in the near future for you in your love life? What is coming in the near future for our beautiful Sagittarius friends? Well, you are the queen of arrows. Look at you. The queen of arrows is the queen of the Libran queen. That is the um, queen of swords. And she is Libra energy. All right. So you are losing. You're using. And you're losing the dead weight. And you're using your intellect and logic and sense of justice to overcome the odds. Look at you. Whoa, baby. You are single and ready to mingle and happy as a Pringle. Let's see. That is great. Look at you. Well, you know all that Jupiter. What you hope is a passionate time with a new lover. You want someone in your life who's active, who's fun, who's athletic, who's sexy, who's friendly, somebody who will go on adventures with you, somebody who can keep up with you and make love with the same passion you do. You are still all up in your head about what happened in the past. You feel vulnerable. The Princess of Arrows, though, says that you are bringing truth and clarity to your love life as it proceeds into the month of April. And look at this, temptation. Somebody's going to try to tempt you to come back to them. I want to clarify all these, and then we'll close out with uh, two sets of oracles, destiny, sacred destiny, and the wisdom of the oracle. So let's see here, what is going on? Tell us more about Sage's story so that we can help them. Tell us more, spirit, tell us more about what Sag moved from. Please clarify the Six of Swords. Please clarify the Six of Swords. Please clarify the Six of Swords. Okay. Seven of Cups. Somebody was just, they were very elusive. They just wouldn't tell you what was going on. They were base, they treated you like you were on a need to know basis. 
you know you always felt like a little bit unsure of yourself the person that you were with really was highly invested in being elusive we do have Aries energy here clarifying the death card that shows that you know for me that means that you had the clarity you took a leadership role and you said enough is enough that Aries energy is a leadership energy and you led the the path into ending a situation that was very stinky all right why is the three of swords here for our beautiful Sagittarius friends Sagittarius why is this three of swords here clarify this this person rushed into the relationship with you you wanted to go more slowly but they tried to sweep you off your feet so that they could deceive you it's a very common player move I will say that as a reader when somebody calls me and says oh he was talking about marriage in the first week I panic because that is not a good sign that is nothing but a big fat hook to get a you know for a big catch it's almost like catfishing, I guess. Ace of Wands. A person came in with a lot of fiery passion. Sagittarius energy. They saw you as like a prize. Look at, they saw you as absolutely this exquisite, you know, you look like Cleopatra, right? And they promised you the sun, moon, and the stars. I will treat you like a queen. I will carry you around. I will take care of you. You didn't necessarily really buy into it a lot, but you thought, well, at least they really care about me. They really love me. You believed that, yes, you believed that they truly loved you. You didn't think that they could do all they promised, but okay. What made this so disgusting to you? What made this relationship so reprehensible? You had to defend yourself at all times. The person would attack you. They would try to put you down. They were not nice. They would try to deceive you. They would they would gaslight you. The Seven of Cups can be gaslighting with the Seven of Wands. They were not nice. Why? Why is the Ace of Coins here? Why is the Ace of Coins here? As what is crossing the reading today for your good? Well, you were saved. You were saved. The universe rewarded you by not allowing you to have this relationship. They awarded your honesty, your integrity. This, the universe had your back truth be told universe had your back you have bigger and better things coming in look at this the ace of coins your ships are coming in an offer of love that's very solid it will be from somebody who's probably younger than you we have the knight of cups and the knight of cups is cancerian energy all right Let's see here what we have. Queen of Arrows. You are going to take things slow and easy. You're not in a big rush. You want your King of Cups and this person becomes your King of Cups. I love it. So the offer is very romantic. It's from somebody who is single and ready to mingle like yourself. But they become your King of Cups. So they go from being, you know, the... the um, the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups, which is a Scorpio King, loves very deeply, has lots of integrity, is a favorite uncle, a favorite brother, is the arbitrator at the local, um, you know, courthouse for mediation for families who are getting divorced, that sort of thing. Somebody who's very actively involved in family affairs, somebody who is very, could be a counselor, uh, that sort of thing. I get the you get a beautiful new beginning in love and again you're not going to rush this you are not going to have this sort of thing happen again you're taking your time you you are willing you want equal give and take you're not going to make love to this person right away you're not going to let anybody sweep you off your feet you're going to stay grounded there you go Scorpio just had this this is incredible you are have you are going to put all your sadness behind you you have fully manifested this beautiful king energy whether it's you know whether i'm talking to cross watchers watchers male or female you have manifested a beautiful love relationship in um and in, in this king of cups energy you have a ten of pentacles which is capricorn energy saying that you know you are going to 
um, very much. I'm sorry, it's Virgo energy. Um, when I get going fast, I sort of forget sometimes. Okay, so the Virgo energy is you both worked hard for your coin. You are self-made success stories. Nobody gave you anything. Uh, and the Two of Cups, here we have it. Two of Cups, Bride and Groom. That is the Soulmate card. One of the Soulmate cards of the Minor Arcana. Okay, let's look and see why you're still in your head. Why are you still worried? Sag, why are you still the Nine of Swords energy at the end of the month? What's going on with that Nine of Swords? Why are you still up in your head feeling remorse and regret? Well, you feel foolish. Oh, don't. Don't beat up on yourself. You're not allowed to beat up on yourself. The rest of the world will beat on you hard enough. You don't have to beat up on yourself. You don't deserve that. Don't do that to yourself. Your friends are here for you. They're, your friends are really here for you. They are not going to let you. You're so afraid that this is something that is a... You've, you're afraid of repeating the same mistakes. You're afraid of the devil energy. You're very fearful. You're almost up at night. You're afraid to take this step, but destiny calls. You do, and you're going to be safe. You're afraid of being left out in the cold. So work on your fears. That's very clear. Again, the Nine of Pentacles, you are ready. You're ready. Just, you know, try to do some healing, do some meditations. The Two of Swords, nothing bad is going to happen to you, okay? And this is light, This is transforming your life. Six of Cups, your soulmate, your soulmate, the King of Cups. You have a beautiful love. Try to take a deep breath and get ready for it. All right, let's look at your Destiny cards here. Destiny cards for Sagittarius. Let's see, what do we have for Destiny? Patience, all right, that is what you want. And security. That's what you require. Good for you. You know what you need. And the wisdom of the oracle is going to give you some advice. Clean it up. Clean up the pain. You're going to need to do some healing. Otherwise, you won't be in your best state of mind for this new relationship. You don't want to bring baggage with you. All right, Sag. Thank you. Bye-bye.